YouTube welcome back to the channel my name is trucker Mike and today is going to be a short video okay I've seen a lot of posts about how do you get internet in your trucks well today I'm gonna to show you my setup and how I get internet in my truck and if you would like to get internet truck it but if you would like to get internet in your truck check out the description below so without further ado let's get right to it all right guys this is my setup yes it has a lot of wires because i have a lot of things here but I, it is dressed up you see i got things zip tied Okay, I'll start from the top. That's my four port Ethernet splitter. I got my HDMI splitter right there. Because I do have a TV on the top bunk. So that way, when I'm watching Apple TV, this is this is if this was before I was gonna train. But I since got it disconnected. So I'm not even gonna worry about that. This is my docking port for my Mac Mini. It gives me more ports down here and it gives me another terabyte of hard drive. Behind it is my Mac Mini. It's my 2020 M1 Mac Mini, as you can see right there, M1 Mac Mini. Below that, I got another one terabyte hard drive. This is the one terabyte hard drive. Below that is my Apple TV. Below that, that is my 16 terabyte NAS storage. And then this is my source of internet. This is a LTE 4G router. This is where I get my internet from. It does have an external antenna. I, I got that installed in the back. So yep, that's my setup. And it's all plugged in for my 32 inch TV. I got my little little desk right here it's got my bluetooth i mean i got it in wired mode right now but it's my bluetooth keyboard got my mouse there's my apple tv remote and my tv remote what's good about this table is it's got four usb ports which is connected to the apple mini by this the uh, mac mini by this cord So theoretically, I could hook up two external drives to that or whatever I want. So, all right, guys, that's my LTE 4G antenna. Now, there were no holes or no nothing drilled into this truck. As you can see, I'm using a load lock. Let me walk on the other side and I'll show you. There's my antenna. And I got the cable zip tied. Alright, that's 
my setup. That's how I get internet. Um, it's pretty fast internet. Matter of fact, the place that I'm getting it through has two plans. One is faster and one is fast, but it's not as fast as the other one. I have currently let them know this. I have to, they have to upgrade my SIM card to my router because I got a router and because I have a router is because I have a network in my truck. I got a NAS storage with 16 terabytes. Um, I got different uh, devices that are connected by ethernet. Um, so I needed a router um, to do all these things. Now I used to have the Netgear MR1100, which is that square um, hotspot that has the digital round display in the center of it. It worked good for a while, but it started acting up on me and uh, the people that I'm getting my service through right now, they offer to upgrade to my router, even exchange. So in other words, I sent back my Netgear to them and they sent me this router. And it works great. Um, especially when I installed uh, that external LTE 4G antenna, which you guys already saw. So, Anyway, check out the description below if you're interested. Uh, I do have a, a discount code for you guys to use that would take $5 off your bill every month. So, that's good. And, uh, anyways, that's it. If you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to it. It doesn't cost you a thing. It helps you out a lot. And then hit that notification. No, no, Hit that notification button, that bell button, to get notified when I do upload videos. Um, a lot of my videos, I'm going to start doing vlogging videos, but a lot of the videos that I'm going to be currently doing is to help you guys out with stuff that I have found. Um, and I even might do a review and unboxing that will help your lives out here on the road just a little bit much better. Because God knows we need it. Um, so stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next video.